Hey everyone, this is Mark with At Tech, and in this video, we're checking out the Apple Pencil for your Mac. This is the Wacom Intuos, and this allows you to add pen inputs to your Mac and any other computer. Wacom is known for making really great tablets and pens. It was the original way of interacting with your computer with a stylus, and now you can do it easier than ever with the Intuos. This is a wireless Bluetooth tablet and pen combo that is very precise, has a lot of customizable buttons, and you can do some really amazing things with it. What's even better is that it has pressure sensitivity, so just like the Apple Pencil, you can have different levels of force applied to different brush strokes. It's really amazing, so let's go ahead and check it out. So right here today, we have the medium size of the Intuos. This series is their cheaper series, the pro versions have much more buttons and features and can do different things, but this is the most consumer level one that most people would get. And I think it's a really great value for the money. I would say that the medium is probably the right size for you. Small might be just way too small and the large might just be a little too big. This is the perfect size to put in a backpack carry around with you. It's a really great and portable unit. And I think this is one you should definitely get. The tablet is made completely out of plastic, but on the top we do have a matte black with different dots. It does get somewhat greasy and fingerprinty, especially if you're dragging your hand around it and it gets sweaty for a while, but it doesn't look too bad and it does clean up very nicely. The dots on the top of the tablet are really great actually for drawing straight lines, who would have thought? And the pen is surprisingly comfortable. It is a little bit weird that the two buttons on the pen are easily pressable and can sometimes get messed up when you're drawing or something, but they are great for interacting as well. You can program different tools or different actions with those buttons. And whenever you're outside of a specific app like Photoshop and you're doing something in like a web browser, you can use those buttons to right click and to scroll. It's really cool. So the coolest thing for me is actually just using this as a mouse. What's really amazing is that you do not actually have to make contact with the surface in order to move the cursor on the screen. You're hovering a little under an inch away above the surface of the tablet and that was what moves the cursor. In order to make a click, you actually tap the pen onto the tablet. It's really cool how the cursor moves and you're not even touching a surface at all. So that's really awesome. We got four buttons on the top of the tablet. They are completely programmable within the Wacom software. On Mac, you can do all the system functions like opening up Launchpad and Mission Control and that sort of stuff. But you can also do things like new layers and undoing stuff and changing tools inside of Photoshop. They also even have multi menus. So you press one button and it'll bring up an on screen menu for you to use. You can do a ton of cool stuff with this as well. Battery life is also pretty good. I've been using this nonstop for about three hours and I'm at 85%. So you can get some pretty good battery life with this thing. You don't have to charge it too often, but it does charge over micro USB. And if you don't have a computer that has a Bluetooth or you don't want to go over Bluetooth, you can also use that micro USB cable to go directly into your computer for a wired connection. So as you can see, we can press harder or lighter and that is reflected within the software. Inside of Photoshop, that also translates to brush strokes. A light touch on the surface gives you a fine line. And if you press harder, it will give you a bolder, thicker line, which is very cool. It's also really nice to have all those programmable buttons on the tablet. It usually allows me to undo something, make a new layer, switch between eraser and brush. There's a ton of cool things you can really do with this. And the possibilities are endless for what you can do and customize. Now I'm a really big fan of this tablet and it's also really cool to edit videos with. However, my biggest complaint, at least on the Mac side, is the software. I haven't tried it out yet on Windows, but on Mac, the software is somewhat buggy. Especially for me, the problems I ran into most with was reassigning the keyboard shortcuts on the buttons of the tablet and also converting between mouse and pen mode. Inside of pen mode, each portion of the tablet is mapped directly to a portion on the screen. So you just move your pen to wherever you want your mouse to be and it will end up there. In mouse mode, it acts more like a trackpad where you have to keep moving the pen back and forth in order to move the cursor off to the side. I found the software crashes sometimes when I'm switching those settings and also when I'm picking a multi-monitor setup, which monitor the pen mode is on also has some issues. Also, 
Sometimes when I am in mouse mode, it does automatically convert back to pen mode when I open up Photoshop and when I step out of Photoshop and go back in, sometimes that doesn't work as well. So I have absolutely no complaints about the tablet. It's absolutely amazing, but the software is limiting its features somewhat and cause it to be somewhat of an annoyance and frustration for me. But either way, I'm a big fan of this tablet. It is absolutely amazing what you can do with it. I love this thing so much. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. If this video helped you out and you liked it, leave a like, hit the subscribe button for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.